how much pressure do you think they're on right now? I it's, mean, this is a good team. It's a lot of pressure because the whole offseason, Chicago knew they needed to fix the back of the end of that bullpen. They did not get it done. This team right now, just said they got 11 blown saves. Just think if they had to convert to seven of those. They'll be 36 and 13 at this point. That's running away, just like they did in 2016. This team is firing on all cylinders. All of their top players are having great years. When that's going on, you've got to get the, the, the pitching in order because this is, could be a very special season for these guys. They did it in 2016, but when you got all these stars that have grown up now, like Contreras mm -hmm. <laughs> and the rest of the bunch, He's right. it's a different ball club. Yep. These guys are good now. You, you got to fix this. You got to fix it in a hurry because everyone's been talking about it since April 1st. And, and you don't want it to seep into the psyche of your team, right? Of so, so how soon do they need this to happen? How, how quickly do you think they need some help well, in the back I, I end of that I think it's bullpen? it's really easy, right? I, I think it's really easy for us to sit up here and say, right, there, there's a guy sitting at home by the name of Craig Kimbrell right. that needs a job, that wants to play, wants to pitch, right? So here's my thing. If you do bring over Craig Kimbrell to your squad, bring him over now. Right, get him the reps. Get him a chance to know your guys. Right, have him met, you know, meld with your squad. Even though that moving draft forward. pick is attached, you would do it before the At draft. At this point, if you're trying to win a World Series, that might be your option. And okay, I'm just saying this is what Craig. They got right? the goods to win the World Series. I mean, if you look yeah, at that roster right now, for sure. they got four guys with 12 home runs. I think that's unheard of yeah. at this point. They're all superstars. So, so what's a draft pick if you can win a ring this year? Is that right? Oh, I mean, 100 percent, 100 out of 100 times you would do that. If that's what you think is going to win you the World Series, that's what you go ahead and do. My thing is now, right, if you don't get Craig Kimber, right, because there's a lot of teams, which is funny because it's almost like there are so many contending teams in the league right now that are having back end of the bullpen issues, yep. right? Okay. So I think now Pedro Strobe's coming back, right? He's been decent, right? He's done a great job for them. Uh, the offense is averaging 5.4 runs a game. That's tops in the National League, right? That can mask a lot of problems for sure. I just think right now there's just so much heat around the back end of the bullpen because there are a bunch of guys that aren't playing baseball that we think should. And, and there's precedent for them. They went after Chapman. Uh, I mean, you could argue that that well, they, was they, a they, huge they, reason they, they, why they won, won, a, after the won a ring. Won a ring. After the break. This year, you're in a, yeah, in a better one, division. One thing. You're in a better division this year. Because of Milwaukee. Milwaukee and St. Louis are going to heat back up. Yeah. You might not get the distance you had before to, to, to close it like that because they're going to be playing one-on-one -on -one all year long, back and forth. When you got a chance to run away in, in, in a division with a team that is capable of winning the World Series, you get it done. You got to go. You got to go, man. Because you never know when it's going to come back around. I mean, right now, I think, you know, when I looked at these first two teams, the first thing I thought of when I think about the Philadelphia Phillies is experience, right? Yeah. You know, you think of, like, Bryce Harper. You think of Real Muto, right? Those guys. But then if you look at on the Brewers' side, these guys have had experience as well, right? And the one thing that I like about the Milwaukee Brewers is the fact that they've had success together. Sure. Right? I think there's a lot of different things that have to go right if you're going to win championships in the whole nine. And I think the one thing that separates these two lineups is number three right there in the middle of that lineup right there, Bryce Harper. Right, he's a once-in-a-lifetime type player, type talent, right? When this dude gets hot, he has the ability to carry a roster by himself. He's electric. He can do it. All we need to do is get that 230-some average up a little bit more and get this team rocking and rolling. Well, I'm going to keep it simple. I think both these teams will make it to the playoffs this year. But right now, we have the edge to the Phillies just because. They just went into, into Wrigley, hostile environment. The mm -hmm. Cubs are mm -hmm. super hot. And they found a way to go two out of four games with the hottest team in baseball, I'm watching this team, roster one through nine. They can get it done. Back of the bullpen, still some questions, but I like the rotation also. I'm looking for the Phillies right now just to edge the right, Brewers. Right now, for Barely, sure. yep. barely. Well, because the Milwaukee Brewers, they won 96 games last year, right? I mean, and it's practically the same team moving forward. Well, the Brewers, they're a little different from last year. Last year, they had lights out pitching. This year, they lost a few guys, a couple right. of injuries. They're not quite what they were last year with the pitching staff. Yeah. I hear what you're saying about Harper, mm -hmm. but, but at 237, nine jacks. Yeah. Yelich has hit 20 home runs already. Right. All right. That, that's a, in terms of Brewers history, that's the fastest to 20 before June 1st in, in their history. Who's the more dangerous player? Oh, Chris Yelich, Yelich no doubt. Or right Harper. Chris Yelich. Even close, yeah, not right? even close right now. So but even if he gets hot. The potential for Bryce Harper, right? And I think this is kind of one of those things that Bryce Harper is one of those guys that goes into these unbelievably drastic long droughts right. or hot streaks, one right. of the two, right? But like Mark Teixeira once said, your season is as good or as bad as your longest hot streak. Sure. And so I think for Bryce, if he can get hot, he can carry this squad, especially in that ballpark. You've seen him hitting balls in the third deck all over the place. <laughs> he's got a chance to do some special things in Philly. He's got a lot of chance of doing a lot of things, but right now Christian Yellow is just a man. Yeah, he's the Last year's league down. MVP, yeah. he hasn't let down at all. He's continued this rise and this run that he's had since last year. It's well, amazing you what he's Bellinger, doing. Bellinger, Josh Bell, I mean, you, you go just hand what, it over to What Yellow's he's doing right now, Yellow's right now, he's back to back MVP. They come in bunches. Remember that. Oh, yeah, you got a couple of them. Huh? Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. I like that. They come in bunches. <laughs>
Very clean over there. For, Frank likes it hot. <laughs>